Thank you for your interest in the Walker School. Today's information session is being presented by Peabody Properties. A partnership between Affordable Housing Services Collaborative Incorporated and Taunton Revitalization Incorporated is proposing the adaptive reuse and historic renovation of the former Walker School building, located at 135 Berkeley Street in the Gateway City of Taunton, Massachusetts. The property is conveniently located adjacent to one of the Greater Attleboro Taunton Regional Transit Authority public bus stops, which provides local and regional public transportation for residents. The site is also less than a quarter of a mile away from the Weir Village Public Park for recreational use, as well as its close proximity to local shops for convenience items. The Walker School comprises 40 units of high quality rental housing designed for seniors ages 62 and over, as well as those who are non-elderly disabled persons. This community has a veteran's preference for those who income qualify and who meet the age and or disability criteria for eligibility. All 40 units will be one bedroom units and have project-based rental assistance. The anticipated start date of occupancy for the Walker School is slated for July 2021. However, due to COVID-19, the construction schedule could be impacted and this date may need to be adjusted. The property will offer two mobility units and one sensory or hearing impaired unit. Forty percent of the units at the Walker School, which comes to 16 units, will be restricted to those earning 30 percent or less of area median income, also known as AMI, and 60 percent of the units, which comes to 24 units at the Walker School, are restricted to households earning 50 percent or less of the AMI. A robust service plan to address the needs of the elderly population with coordination from Peabody Resident Services and assistance from Bristol Elder Services, Pace Harbor Health, and the Taunton Housing Authority will be offered. Some community highlights to mention about the Walker School. The Walker School will boast Energy Star appliances, high efficiency windows and doors, resident community spaces, a laundry care center, as well as professional on site management with 24 hour emergency maintenance. Eligibility at the Walker School is restricted to those applicants and households with at least one applicant who is age 62 and over or who is non-elderly disabled. The household must income qualify with all LIHTC tax credit guidelines and all regulatory requirements. The income limits for the Walker School are as follows. Rental rates. Rent is based on 30% of the household's adjusted gross income. Some information about the application process. 
Applications for the Walker School will be distributed through May 17th, 2021 and must be postmarked by May 18th, 2021 in order to be eligible for the lottery. Applications received after this date will be accepted, but will be placed on a post lottery wait list. Applications for the Walker School are available via the following via our website, walkerschooltaunton.com, our email, walker at pbdproperties.com, or by snail mail, U.S. Postal Service. Please call us at 617-594-1724 to request an application be, to be mailed to you. Note, submission of duplicate applications will result in disqualification from the lottery, so please do not send electronically and then fax or send through the mail. Important things to note, all applications need to be fully completed. All household members need to be listed on the application. This includes all children and infants. All income and all assets need to be reported for all household members. All adult household members, meaning age 18 and older, must sign the application as well as the consent form. Incomplete applications will not be eligible for the lottery. Please ensure you complete all questions on the application. Do not leave any questions blank. If you are uncertain about how to answer a question, please call us for guidance. A letter or email will be sent to you with your eligibility status. If you are deemed ineligible, you will have an opportunity to appeal. The lottery will not be conducted until all appeals have been satisfied. Income and assets. What is counted as income? Any income received from any source. Examples include, but are not limited to the following, social security payments, retirement funds, pensions, disability income, employment of any kind, meaning full-time, part-time, sporadic and or seasonal employment, self-employed, gift contributions, meaning monetary or gifts in kind, and any income from assets. So what is counted as an asset? Assets include, but are not limited to the following, savings accounts, checking accounts, express debit cards, money market accounts, any cash on hand, retirement accounts, equity and real estate, stocks, bonds, treasury bills, and certificates of deposit, or more commonly known as CDs. Although your income and assets do not need to be, quote, to the penny, it will determine if you are eligible for the lottery based on program requirements. So it is important to try and be as close as possible to the actual numbers and to include everything. If in doubt, please call us for clarification. As mentioned previously, all applications are checked for duplicates. We search by your name, your address, phone number, and your email address. If it is determined that you have submitted a duplicate application, your application will be immediately removed from the lottery. Please note that there are no exceptions. If you need to make a change of any kind to your application, please call our office and we will be happy to update your application accordingly on your behalf. Once all applications have been reviewed and appeals have been settled, 
application numbers will then be placed on a spreadsheet. The application spreadsheet is then reviewed and approved. The lottery will then be scheduled and all applicants will be notified of their application number along with the date and time of the lottery. Due to COVID-19, this lottery will be conducted via a Zoom meeting on May 27th, 2021. You are not required to be present at the live broadcast. Your attendance at the lottery is strictly optional and will not affect your eligibility for housing. Again, you are not required to participate in the lottery. Every applicant entered into the lottery will receive a lottery number and will be notified in writing. On the day of the lottery, a random sorting of application numbers will be performed via an online process. After completion, the spreadsheet will, with the corresponding lottery and application numbers is then sorted according to any preferences. After the lottery, all applicants will then receive an email or mailed letter with your lottery number. Within five days of the lottery, applicants will be contacted for interviews based on their placement in the lottery. Before contacting you for an interview, a credit and background check is run for all applicants. The consent form that was attached to your lottery application will be used as an authorization to run the screening. Note, it is important that all adult household members sign a separate form and submit it with the lottery application. If you do not pass screening, you will be given an opportunity to appeal. Units will not be offered to anyone who is after you in the lottery until the appeal process has been completed. The interview. You will be asked to provide specific documentation at your interview. A list of these documents will be sent to you along with confirmation of your interview date, time, and location. This list is also made available on our website at walkerschooltaunton.com. If you are unable to attend your interview, please call the leasing office within 24 hours in advance of your scheduled appointment so as to make arrangements for an alternate date and time. Note, a no-show to your appointment is an automatic withdrawal from the process with the exception of a medical emergency. Due to COVID-19, most interviews will be conducted via a phone interview and the same rules will apply. If the interview is conducted via a phone call, a full Peabody Properties application may be emailed to you in advance for completion and asked for it to be returned prior to the phone call. We will call you during the scheduled day and time. If you do not answer the call, we will attempt one to two more times over the next 15 minutes. If you do not answer, you will be considered a no-show and your application will be removed from the lottery waiting list. Again, the only exception will be that of a medical emergency where supporting documentation will be required. Deadlines. Please be cognizant of all deadlines given to you. We are under a strict deadline ourselves to qualify applicants for units, so you will be required to provide requested documentation within a reasonable time frame. Failure to do so will result in the removal of your application from the lottery waiting list. We will be contacting you via phone and email, so it will be important for you to periodically check your voicemail and email accounts regularly to ensure that you are responding to all requests within the timelines given. 
Failure to respond within 24 hours will be the cause for your application to be removed from the lottery waiting list. An email or letter will be sent to advise you of this action. The processing of your file will take anywhere from two to three weeks, depending on your individual circumstances. Upon completion and approval of your file from Peabody Properties, as well as any third party entities, and if this certificate of occupancy has been issued, a lease signing date will then be scheduled as well as a tour of your unit. Please note that lease signings will take place via DocuSign whenever possible to minimize person-to-person -person contact in an effort to safely social distance. Initially, we will be asking you to select your preferred one to two units based on floor plans provided. Units will be assigned based on lottery numbers. Once all units have been filled, a notice will go out to all remaining lottery waiting list applicants to advise you that the lease-up process has concluded. Note, if you are not contacted for an interview and are not offered a unit during the lease-up period, your application file will stay on the waiting list. Therefore, please ensure that the property always has your current contact information in the event of an available unit. This concludes today's information session. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about this wonderful housing opportunity at the Walker School. Should you have any questions regarding the presentation, please feel free to reach out to us at any time at walkerschooltaunton.com, walker at peabodyproperties.com, or give us a call at 617-594-1724. Again, thank you for your interest in the Walker School Apartments.